Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel and I am 36 weeks pregnant with a 17 month old daughter named Evelyn. Today I want to share my third trimester to-do list of things that you may or may not have already done or thought of. It's the third trimester, you're in the home stretch, whether it's your first baby or your fifth, life as you know it is about to change. It's time to take some time for yourself to do something fun before your new bundle of joy makes their debut. You can go on a baby moon, you can have fun and just relax, it doesn't have to be extravagant. You can go by yourself, you can go with your friends, with your significant other, your whole family if you want to, whatever makes you happy, just get out of the house and away from your normal routine. My husband actually sent me away for a full spa day. It included a facial, full body massage, jacuzzi tub, manicure, pedicure. Lasted the whole day. It was so relaxing and just what I needed. Branching off of the idea of a baby moon, enjoy date nights, your time alone, your routine as you know it, time with your other kids if you have them, sleep in, watch movies, enjoy whatever you want to do for your you time because as soon as your new baby is here, it's not about you anymore. And if you already have kids, then you already know what it's like to make room for the newest member. With that being said, this is the time period that most women get into that nesting phase, cleaning, purging, rearranging the entire room, any last minute projects. Just make sure to listen to your body and don't overdo it. You may feel like Superwoman, but please ask for help if you need anything heavy lifted or moved. While you're nesting, prepare the spaces that you'll need most when your new baby is here. First is where they're going to sleep, whether it's in a bassinet next to your bed, if it's in a crib in another room, if you're going to be co-sleeping, whatever you want to use, sound machines, bedding, baby monitors, everything that you're going to need. Next, prepare where you're going to nurse or bottle feed, have some burp cloths there, some blankets, a log to track feedings, diaper consistency and sleep patterns. You can have some coconut oil or other natural balms. You can have some books to pass the time. Um, you can get a milk catcher to catch the milk from the side that you're not nursing from if you are nursing. <laughs> Next is your diaper changing station. Stock up on different sizes of diapers. You never know how fast your baby's gonna grow. Stock up on wipes, diaper rash creams, lotions. You'll definitely need an easily accessible area. A diaper pail to hold all the dirty, stinky diapers. A padded changing mat is always nice. We also used a wipe warmer and had a nasal aspirator on hand just in case there was any boogers at the time. Get your postpartum station or caddy ready. Fill it with pads and liners, witch hazel pads, medicated cooling pads, paint and itch spray, and definitely a peri bottle. And I like to add a couple pairs of clean underwear. You never know when you're going to leak through and you don't want to be caught sneaking out of the bathroom to get a new pair. Definitely stock up on any other household goods that you use a lot, such as paper goods, any tissues, toilet paper, paper plates is the less dishes the better. Also stock up on any pantry items that won't expire for a while like canned goods. One of the best things that you can do and that you'll love yourself later for is just to cook a lot of food and store it all in the freezer for freezer meals that you can just pop in the microwave whenever you want to. You don't have to worry about what you're gonna cook or cleaning up afterwards. Trust me, it's a big weight off your shoulders. Next is baby proofing. Cover any outlets, move chemicals out of reach, secure your cabinets, move any plants or things that you don't want your baby getting into. I know what you're thinking, that your baby isn't mobile, they're not gonna be able to get into any of this stuff within the first few months, but you'll thank yourself later when you already have these protections in place. And of course, as your baby gets older, you'll find even more things that need to be baby proofed that you didn't think of before. Pack your diaper bag and your hospital bag. I'll be posting videos on what I packed in mine in the next couple of weeks, so definitely look out for those. If you haven't already, then create your baby registry and have your baby shower. We loved Amazon. You get 10% off of all eligible items that weren't purchased already and 15% off for Prime members. I'll also have videos coming out in the next couple weeks for our first time parent Amazon registry and also on what we have on our current registry for baby number two. Now's the time to make sure to order your electric breast pump if you're going to be nursing. Make sure to check with your insurance as a lot of times this pump will be completely covered, but with some insurances you still may have to pay some. You can also look into getting a manual pump. This is definitely a cheaper option and some moms even swear that they work better than the electric ones. 
make sure to confirm your maternity leave with your employer and apply for any family medical leave or any other paid leave that you're eligible for. Definitely start thinking about childcare for if you're going to be returning back to work after you have your baby and start reaching out to potential caregivers to plan out some meet and greets with them. A lot of caregivers may have waiting lists so it's definitely good to be proactive with this and not wait until the last minute and potentially be out of luck. On the same note, now is the time to find a pediatrician that you like and reach out to see if they have the availability to take in new patients. Evelyn actually has the same pediatrician that I had when I was growing up, so without a doubt, I know that she's going to be getting great care. Now is definitely the time to install that baby car seat and learn how it works because you never know when your baby is going to come. You never know when you're going to go into labor and it's just one less thing that you have to worry about and one less thing that you're gonna to have to ask someone if it's not already done as you're not going to be able to take your newborn home with you without it. You can also take a birth class and tour of your hospital so you're familiar with procedures, gain some helpful tips so you're more comfortable when it's time to have your baby. Definitely go over your birth plan and any questions you may have with your doctor. Take the time to learn baby CPR and other emergency measures such as what to do if your baby is ever choking, burned, poisoned, etc. <laughs> Make sure to wash and sanitize all the baby's items, clothes, bibs, bottles, toys, pacifiers if you're gonna use them. A great tip is to sort clothes by their actual size, lay them all next to each other and not by what the tag says as many brands are completely different with their sizing. Now is the perfect time to take any maternity photos that you want, whether it's with a professional photographer or if you do it yourself at home or with a friend. You can do a little pre-research with the Wonder Weeks app or with the What to Expect in Your First Year book just to see what is going to happen within the first few months of having your baby. Make plans for care for your older children or pets or if you have to have your house checked on or your plants watered. You can make a list of all the things that need to be done while you're away and see if any of your friends or family or anyone else is willing to help out. Don't forget to clear some space off of your phone for all the baby pictures and videos that you're going to take. Nothing is worse than your baby doing something so adorable and you go to take a picture or a video and there's no space on your phone and then you have to take the time to go ahead and delete some things and then by the time you do that, the baby is done doing what they were doing. Most importantly, please understand that you probably won't be able to get everything done that you wanted to and don't stress about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and look out for my next video. What are you doing in there? Huh?